It's Saturday morning in Morecambe. A northern oasis. Home to a family that's about to start the weekend, just like millions of other families around the world. But this isn't any family. This is the Radfords. Oh. So we're known as Britain's biggest family. Are we? Yeah, we are, I think. Oh. I think so. OK. Noel and Sue began building their family in 1994. Since then, they've grown and grown. We have 22 children, which that includes our little angel, Alfie. So, so far, only Chris and Sophie have left home. Yeah, so we still have 19 children living at home. Kisses. We've got all the babies, the little people, Oscar, Casper, Hallie, Phoebe, Archie, Bonnie, and Heidi. Then we've got the teenagers, Katie, James, Ellie, Amy, Josh, Max, Tilly. So we've got the older ones, yeah, like the, the almost adult ones, aren't they, I guess? Chloe, Jack, Daniel, Luke, Millie. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It's never quiet, but it's good fun, isn't it? We absolutely love it. A family this big needs a lot of looking after. Uh, for a big breakfast, uh, a weekend treat, <clears throat> we'll have a big fry up. We've got a couple of packets of bacon, three packets of bacon. 48 sausages, a couple of dozen eggs, three tubs of mushrooms, uh, we've got beans. Come on then, should we make a start? Are you hungry? What are you looking forward to most? Eggs. <laughs> it's always a slow job, is this breakfast for everyone? It seems to take forever. <coughs> That's how they complain, isn't it, when the tea breakfast isn't ready? Is that what is it mean? Not going fast enough? Right, put them all back. There's 22 mouths to feed, so everything they do is supersized. And that comes at a cost. A fry up for the whole family can be more than 50 quid. Noel starts with 48 sausages plus nearly four kilograms of beans and tomatoes. So we'll have to do beans and tomatoes in these two pans for today. They'll also go through two loaves of bread and eight litres of juice. With this much on his plate, Super Dad Noel has to work smart. It's a tray for the egg. Uh, I'm cooking the eggs this way, well, it's just much easier to do them all in one big tray. I love everything. Not mushrooms. You're going to try the mushrooms today? I love it all. Just not the full tomatoes. Pleasing the whole clan's not easy, but for Noel and Sue, it's worth it. What we enjoy most about a big family is just being surrounded by the kids all the time. Fun, laughter, mm. happiness. Watching the kids, like, interact with each other and the friendships and bonds that they have as well is just... It's so lovely to watch. Food's up. For all the family, it's a great start to the weekend. Uh, Amy, how many sausages in that? For me, living with a big family is normal because I've grown up with it, but I, I love it. It'd be so boring if we only had one brother and sister. You've always got someone to be with and you're never on your own. Not enough chairs on the big table. Mum and Dad do really try hard to make the family really get Safe. There's no room left at the table, so we're sat up on it. <laughs> well, I always say to my mum, I don't actually know how you've done this 22 times. Oh, next day is tidying up after that. Some of them have helped clear the table and the rest have just disappeared, but it's generally us two and one or two others that are left to tidy up, isn't it, hon? Yeah. It does sometimes feel like we're running a restaurant at home. It is hard work, actually. And just one meal fills a whole dishwasher with crockery. It's a huge responsibility mm. having our 22 kids, but it's taken 31 years to get here. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs>